Hey guys, Justin here from the 2x4 test tent with another video. This one is not on the FC 4000, which you see here. What it is actually on is what is attached to the FC 4000. By the way, if you want to see the FC 4000 review, I'll leave it in the uh, pinned comment below. But this is about their new ad light bars. You can actually have add-on bars now mounted to all of your Mars Hydro lights and really any grow light that you would that you would want to add bars to. Because so it's got these little uh, these little crossbars here, so you can add it to any bar style setup. It's pretty sweet. And what you get in the package, uh, I have the uh, the three pack where I have three of each color, and three of each color. That's what they sent over to, to test out. You can get them individually. Uh, one of them is the uh, IR bar. One of them is a uh, red. And then one of them is UV. And the red obviously is super bright in the middle. The UV and the IR are both a little bit more dim. But you'll see they are uh, actually putting out a pretty decent output. You just can't see it because everything else is so incredibly bright. But we'll uh, we'll turn that off here in a second. You can see the PAR numbers that it's putting out right now uh, with the uh, the main light on. Uh, we'll be turning that off to see PAR numbers. We'll check uh, the spectrum, of course, and then, of course, the heat and whatnot as well. But this is what you get when you get your your uh, setup this is just for for one so if you have all three you're gonna get triple this basically uh, this is uh, the hanging kit if you want to hang it individually and not hook it to your light and then you've got wire ties to deal with the wires because you do have some wires with this I mean this is a lot of wires because you have three bars here and three bars here they're all daisy chained together though which is nice and then instead of wire tying these and setting them on here, I didn't really want them on the light. So I just took one of the wire ties, made a loop, and I can hang them above here. And they're not sitting on the light. They're kind of just out of the way. No big deal. So that's just kind of how I dealt with it there. But uh, it does come with uh, plenty of wire ties if you want to do some serious wire management, some origami wiring. Uh, you get your, your two strips here, which this is how the... Uh, the lights click in they just kind of uh, have a groove there and they snap in and then you set that across the uh, light bars and they uh, they hold them in place works pretty well everything is really solid you can push on them they don't come loose which is nice uh, you have the uh, little manual here not really a whole lot to look at but we will go over it really quickly here so you've got the uh, the UV 30 and the UV 55. Basically, it's two foot and four foot versions of everything. So you've got the IR 15 and the IR 30, the uh, red 30, and the red 55. So two foot and four foot versions. These are the two foot versions that I have here, and you get uh, two bars in each one. There's a picture there of a setup installation tips there you see the uh, the hanging if you want to hang it individually and not from the light itself and then set up for the uh, the light warranty info all that good stuff is going to be on Mars Hydro's website if you want to check that out it does come with a timer just a cool little digital timer cool and then of course the uh, the main power cord uh, you do get three power cords if you get all three uh, colors of bars. So that's kind of cool. You get uh, backup equipment plus three of these and three, three sets of these. So with that, I was able to make this setup here, which I have three bars there and then three bars on this side going here. And you can put them in the middle completely if you want to do it that way. I felt like maybe spacing them out might be better, so I slid these ones down this way and these ones down this way. And uh, we're going to test it like that, so pretty cool. 
So you can see the uh, the par numbers right now with it on. Let's go ahead and switch the main light off. And now you can see what we're pushing just with the bars. Just the bars alone now. And now you can see the, the lights from the, uh, the other one. The UV kind of messes with the camera a little bit. But you can't see that they're lit up. Plus, I don't know if you can see, but everything that's white is like, <laughs> it's disco up in here. It's just glowing. Everything that's white. There's the back of the brochure here. <laughs> it's all glowing. Uh, so yeah, you can uh, set this all up here. And you've got your three colors, or you can just get one or two or all three. You, they have it all set up on the website to pick up. But let's uh, let's get some testing going on here. Let's get this stuff out of the way. We'll do some quick uh, testing. So we'll do a, uh, a center reading here just to take a look. Wow, it's actually pushing 200 to the center with just the bars. That's not bad. Not bad at all. And you can see the corners, about 100 on the uh, the corners that actually have bars 150 160 I mean not bad at all really get over there that's kind of like the dead corner as you can see there's there's no bar over there if you had the the four foot bar kit I think that would fit in there completely all the way across but of course that's going to be more money and more money you might want to put in the more money than you might want to put into a a two by four tent that would be more for a four uh four by four kit plus i mean look at the numbers i mean it's it's not bad at all you're pushing 200 par to the middle 100 to the corners of supplemental lighting i mean that's uh that's no slouch that is no slouch whatsoever so that's pretty sick i i do i do dig that so i think this would be helpful for a lot of people that are looking for just a little bit more kick to not not just a little bit more kick to their their overall output, but also a uh, a more diverse spectrum. Now right, we'll get the uh, spectrum meter out. Get this fired up. Let's see if it'll uh, take a good reading here. Sometimes it doesn't like just the uh, UV and IR setups. Yes, yeah, see it, it didn't even take a reading there. Come on, you can do it. Oh, there we go. <laughs> all right so you can see what it's got going on here you've got your your uv all the way down there about 360 it looks like and then you've got your 660 red spike and then your 740 ir or or deep red that's what we'd be looking at there and there's the uh the makeup there that's from over here if we go like underneath this side probably a little bit stronger I'm sure but yeah that's the that's the setup there and then if we turn the uh, the actual light on you'll be able to see what it does with the whole spectrum look at that Kicking the whole thing up. Now, if we take, if now let me unplug, let me do it the other way. I'll unplug these, the bars. There, now they're they're off completely. No more bars. And we'll compare the spectrum. So here's the before bars spectrum. and the after bars I mean so that's a big big difference that's <laughs> that's major right there so that's uh I mean that's a really good add-on I mean you're, you're looking at a couple hundred bucks right now for the uh the two foot kit I think it is on their website I mean there's also discounts of course my discount code and stuff like that 
got the links down below for all the discounts but um yeah if you want to spend that kind of money to get yourself some serious spectrum upgrade it's definitely out there it's definitely out there this is a, a really really good part of the market that i've been hoping that uh, companies would capitalize on for quite a while i've recommended this to several companies because i feel like there's a lot of people that could uh, benefit from this and a lot of people that are really looking for a solution like this i mean if you just want uv just buy the uv if you just want ir just buy the ir same thing with the far red like um it's pretty cool or just get the whole kit they got the whole setup killer well i got it shut off now but <laughs> it's pretty killer man pretty killer i'll plug it back in here there, actually let me get the <laughs> i got a two-hand it with the uh plugging it back in there we go pulling about 67 watts on all three bars there so not uh not a lot but you actually get a decent amount of output as you saw from the uh the par meter so pretty killer guys let's uh go ahead and let it uh, warm up for a little bit and then we'll take some heat readings i don't think it's gonna be very hot they they don't feel hot the whole the whole thing really doesn't feel that hot though to be honest pretty sweet though be right back all right we are back we've let it warm up for well over an hour i actually left it on for quite a while here but uh, let's take a look and see what we see and what we see is yeah the bars are running super cool i mean it's to be expected really they're pretty low wattage yeah you can see how green they are looking at uh what is that 103 104 on the bars and a lot of that heat is probably just from coming off of the main bar so yeah pretty sweet man not too bad at all definitely if you guys want some more info on this uh check out mars hydro's website uh link below to everything down there uh, along with the discount code they are running a pretty fatty discount right now that might be better than my discount code so i mean feel free to use that and uh, save some extra cash but if you want to support me i mean you can always use my code and like cost yourself some money which would be really stupid so i don't recommend doing that but if you'd like to you're welcome to <laughs> but yeah hopefully you guys uh, like this uh, review here i will be doing some more uh, Mars Hydro uh, reviews uh, real soon. I've got a uh, fan from them, a drip kit, uh, some accessories, all kinds of cool stuff uh, from Mars Hydro coming down the pipeline. Uh, lots of other reviews too. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. Until next time, guys, happy growing.